The country's main referral psychiatric hospital at La Loque, the central province, has seen little improvements over the years to cater for the increasing number of patients. The hospital's director of medical services and current acting CEO, Dr. Ludwig Nanawar, says the hospital has undergone a major restructure with the launch of a corporate plan. This has brought about some positives, which includes an increase in staff numbers. But Dr. Nanawar says the continuous limited financial support has seen most of the hospital's infrastructure deteriorate, reducing the number of patients that can be admitted for treatment. Gregory Avira reports. Laloki Psychiatric Hospital is a year away from celebrating its Golden Jubilee. In its 49 years of existence, the hospital has treated thousands of patients from throughout the country. But the journey of the hospital has been filled with challenges, most of which still exist to date. At the moment, yes, this is the only referral hospital, apart from Port Moresby General Hospital. But it's part of our hospital, so they're quite limited with the number of beds. The list of concerns faced by the hospital continues to grow each year. At the top of the list is the need to provide sufficient skilled staff and increasing the number of wards for patients. A restructure in 2010 has seen the creation of new positions, increasing the staff ceiling to 160. 16 positions of which are still vacant due to the freeze in staff recruitment by the Department of Personal Management. The hospital takes in an average of two new admissions per week creating a strain on the limited and aging infrastructure. We've actually shut one of the wards down last year after a typhoid and a diarrheal illness outbreak in one of the wards, so it's shut. And uh, maintenance work is going on, so that ward can house to potentially 20 patients, so our numbers have been cut down to about 60. Usually we have about 80, 100 patients at any one time. The World Health Organization estimates that half of all mental disorders begin before the age of 14. This statistic is evident for the country with the highest number of patients ranging from the teens to late 20s. We mainly deal with severe mental health uh, problems, you know, like illnesses like schizophrenia and bipolar disorder and uh, drug-induced psychosis, mainly marijuana and uh, also psychosis due to other medical problems like epilepsy. Yeah. The World Mental Health Survey estimates that 13% of a country's adult population will face some form of mental disorders within their lifetime. Applying these statistics to the current population of the country will give an estimated 700,000 possible cases. As staggering as these figures are, getting proper mental health treatment is still a challenge for the country. In the past five years, the hospital has submitted average estimated budgets of 12 million kina but only half of which get approved and funded. Adequate financial support is something Dr. Nanawa believes should be improved to complement the work done by the hospital. Gregory Avira, NBC National News, Port Mosby.